Hey everybody, this is Rando, and we're back to Black Mirror 2. So, twice in this game we've had to do a lockpicking minigame, and it's just not worked. Now, it does seem to me like it is somewhat connected to the open broadcast software, as far as whether you can do the alt-tab out, alt-tab back in, alt-tab out, alt-tab back in, and just try the lockpicking thing while moving the animation forward by alt tabbing out and in. It doesn't seem like you can do that when you're recording, but you can do it when you've closed OBS, Open Broadcasting Software. Uh, I don't know what effect that would really have, but this is, we're talking about a bug that shouldn't exist in the game anyways. Even without having OBS running, you still have the lockpicking minigame not work. You still have to alt tab out and in. The difference this time is I didn't have to go and change the resolution back to the default and all the the graphics setting back to the default or, or turn off hardware so acceleration on the mouse uh, and even when I had done those things it didn't fix it any better than than this time the lockpick did however snap so I think that's a pretty good confirmation that we won't be uh, doing any more lockpicking in this game but by all rights I should rage quit on this game a long long time ago a really really long time ago the tea is sitting here in the pub we're just gonna take it and then I I wouldn't be surprised if we just fast travel right back to Black Mirror ah, there's the tea I need uh, without it asking now quickly back to the castle like, this is just like a completely out of nowhere experience that that a didn't need to from be the Willow here. Creek area. It's marked where the murders took place 12 years ago. Five See? murder locations are marked. Now, whether these had anything to do with the alleged curse, this is weird because I tried to right click on the postcard to fast travel, and now it's telling me the description which is not what it was doing before, which tells me that as soon as I walk out of here, somebody's going to catch me. Hmm. More than likely. Somebody in the order. I no? guess Bates isn't back yet. Guess not. Um, unless there's something in the mailbox, I guess there's no reason to be here. Wouldn't be surprised if there's never anything in the mailbox at all. And unless there's something new to look here, doesn't seem like there is. If we just have to find three tile pieces instead of what felt like five soul keys in the first game, that that would be slightly better. It speed things up. However, I would would definitely have preferred to have been looking for five mosaic pieces since the beginning of Act 2 or 3, or instead of doing a lot of puzzles and quests that are just built around boring, generic objects. Uh, I, I don't think I agree with puzzles and point-and-click adventures being boring things like making ready. tea. Just need some hot water. I'll just let Sally know. And the game is again being very controlling, telling us uh, how to even solve the puzzle. Which is kind of nice, I guess. You know, I could have wandered around this castle for a lot of time to looking for blown water. And it's very possible I would have never thought of just asking Sally to do it. Good day, Sally. Yes. Sally, uh, Bates has asked me to tell you that you can announce tea time today. Now all we're missing is the hot water. Oh, so I'm good enough for that now, am I? He was rather exhausted after doing the shopping. No wonder. 
I don't understand why he simply didn't tell Lewis to go. I do. The the apron on Sally, by the way, was just kind of painted on white. Uh, in the way it was animated, it it does it looks very unrealistic. So everybody's gone. Thank goodness. Of course, the question is, why not just break down the door to the burnt wing, forbidden wing? That's taking it a bit far. I've got to find another quiet way to open the slab. Hmm. I still don't really have anything. I'm almost certain there's a secret compartment hidden behind the stone slab. But how can I get to it? I'm almost certain there's a secret... There's an ornate fence or some kind of barrier around the globe. No idea what that's for. There's an ornate fence. That's all there is, though. <laughs> We're still having trouble. Let's see. Distract the ladies. We did that. Get some tea. We did that. Hmm. Find the second piece is what we're still working on. We already ended the black mirror. We already did that. And did that. Did all these reset? I don't think that would happen. It certainly shouldn't happen. Right. A rather large and heavy hammer. It's not here for banging nails into walls. This is for knocking stuff down. It's just it look at everything. reminds me of the lighted glass in church windows. Different colored pieces of glass bound with thin metal strips. According to Angelina, all three pieces together will open the access to the catacombs under the old academy. We almost have just one row of items. I don't want to read any of this the stuff. The knife isn't new anymore, and also not especially sharp. No good for carving, but you'd sure still be able to cut through something with it. My room key. Hmm. Looks more like the key to a prison cell rather than for a hotel room. There's a wooden tag attached with the number 12 on it. One assumes that we don't need to cut the 12 off. So what are some options here? We have the knitting basket now. So I needed to steal the knitting needles? That wasn't obvious. I don't see what old ladies get out of knitting. Perhaps it just helps them kill time. Did I get an item from that? No, I didn't. And now there's no knitting basket to click on. We could go try and knock down the lock door. Behind the door, just a few rooms, all in danger of collapsing since the fire. And until I have the key for the door, I can't prove otherwise. I can't do anything with the uh, with the mirror. Seems like they felt the need to put a black mirror in Black Mirror Manor. Could go back to the bathroom and maybe now get the towels. Ah, cleaning equipment. Maybe that'll help. A pile of towels. Small ones, big ones, nothing but towels. So unless I'm supposed to use something on the cupboard. I'm uncertain why Sally that was actually things down here. Yeah. A metal bucket and a mop. Take that stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'll take the mop with me. Let's see. What 
the mop clog up the bathtub. Yes, it will. I'll lay the mop head directly over the plug hole. Okay. And turn I on better not top. flood the bathroom without a reason. He's right. I I don't Water have a reason to flood through, the bathroom, despite the flannel, but much less than what's flown into the bathtub. Hmm. A pile of towels, small ones, big ones, nothing but towels. I feel like I accomplished nothing there. At least nothing towards the current goal. An old fashioned telephone. <laughs> but who should I call? Can we break in the Bates room now? <sighs> the door is locked. Hmm. No indication that you'd be cool with me knocking down his door. This painting still seems like it's. For some reason, a thing. I don't know why. We have three nymphs in this painting, three nymphs at the gate. So much for the nakedness in England. Four naked girls at once here. There's and the chat four. They're all entertaining. Really seems to be enjoying it. So much for the naked. It's just the same comment. Hmm. <laughs> I can talk to She's Sally. She's so busy at the moment. I don't want to disturb her. No, we can't. Is there anything new in this area? No. Got the well and mud. Can't stab the guy. We got the hammer and mud. I'd rather leave him to his work. Looking everywhere just in case there's something, something I'm missing. Feel like I'm gonna go in the library and talk to the ladies some more, but that doesn't follow any logic in my head at all. Like we just solve the puzzle by getting them out of the room so that we can mess with the globe and now it seems like we just don't have the tools that they want us to have apart from its impressive size there's nothing unusual about it i just wonder why anyone would buy something like that Gonna right click on a few things. behind the door, just a few rooms. Just in case. All in danger of collapsing since the fire. And until I have the key for the door, I can't prove otherwise. Seems like it's gonna let me in the library. So I guess this is part of the story. I have no idea what I asked him. Though, I think it really doesn't make sense. Picture, 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 picture. We'll try to take either of one of their pictures. They're drinking tea. I don't want to annoy them. I don't have any important questions for her right now. Is there something on the table that would help, like a knife? Everything is ready for tea time. Hmm. 
And there's nothing on the globe. And going back to the village doesn't make any sense. A card from the Willow Creek like, area. Doesn't seem like located. doesn't seem like we can even do that. It's kind of strange that some of the rooms we haven't seen in the first game uh, are quite obviously in places where they should be seen. Maybe I've been trusting this too much. Maybe I actually need to find some kind of pixel hunt object. The, these certainly don't line up with this. If I could rotate the whole floor, that'd be cool. There's an ornate fence or some kind of barrier around the globe. No idea what that's for. There's an ornate fence. There's an ornate fence. Hmm. Like, see how these tiles don't line up? But how do you rotate? I'm almost certain there's a secret compartment. I'm almost certain there's a secret compartment hidden behind the stone slab. But how can I get to it? How can I rotate the globe? How can I rotate the barrier? Let's try this again. Every single object. We've got two things. We're looking for one that would in some way Help. Trying everything, I want to be as thorough as possible. It seems highly unlikely that most of these would be objects you would use at all. leaves the hammer. That's taken it a bit far. Hmm. I've got to find another quiet way to open the slab. So some kind of quiet way to open the slab. Hmm. Gonna hover over every item just in case there's some interaction. Like, I can't leave this area. So the thing I'm missing, if I actually am missing something, is something I've been missing many, many times over. Uh, and I'm certainly not learning any kind of lessons from that. Maybe if I just gave an object to Sally or Luis, it might give me something different. I, I can kind of click anywhere. There's an ornate thing. If this was something that required you to be in a specific spot, I don't know if I'd fall for that. This is rather annoying. Maybe we can talk to Sally. She's so busy at the moment. I don't want to disturb her. Let's look at our ideas here. Hmm. 
The only clues to the whereabouts of the list is written on the points, but I can't see any way to open it. I guess I need a hint. I guess I might as well just do this and try the hint system because clearly there's something rather obscure going on here. There's got to be a hint somewhere in the castle on how to open that thing. That's not super useful. Uh, next. Perhaps I should take a look closer at a look at all the rooms. That is just awful. This is really, really awful. And I don't think even if something was to work, am I was supposed to give something to somebody? I'm not 100% sure it's going to change the cursor to red. Feels like the game is glitched. Show hotspots. Let's go up and down every single little place. Apart from its impressive size, there's nothing unusual about it. I just wonder why anyone would buy something like that. We can go in the library. I almost, I'm gonna have to ch test here and see if maybe I can just walk with the arrow keys. Maybe that can walk me into an area. No, nothing with the arrow keys and nothing with WASD. So take that for what it is. Maybe I needed to look at the family tree more right now. I feel like I've already looked at this. That's the Gordon's family tree. Almost the same as the one in Wales. Maybe I'm supposed to click it multiple times. Or maybe I'm supposed to take note of the line. That's the Gordon's family tree. Almost the same as the one in Wales. Hammer doesn't work. That doesn't work. Message doesn't work. Diary doesn't work. Knife doesn't work. Letter doesn't work. Damn, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Doesn't work. That doesn't work. And that one doesn't work. That's the Gordon's family tree. Almost the same as the one in Wales. Okay, there is a strange place all of a sudden that wasn't there before, or I've just been missing it. This is probably where the name got rubbed out. Oh. It looks as though something's been painted over here at the top, directly above Samuel and Catherine's generation. Hmm. Unfortunately, it's been painted over. No way you can work out what was written there before. So does that then trigger a conversation I can have with these two? They're drinking tea. I don't want to annoy them. I don't have any important questions for them. Like, that didn't help me. At all. Didn't give me any, any knowledge or information. Hot spots. An old fashioned telephone. <laughs> Who should I call? An old-fashioned... 
trying to right click and left click everything. So much for the naked. See how far I can walk this direction. Is it really in the bathroom? Just click on everything. Water is still getting through despite the flannel, but much less than what's flown into the bathtub. Let's see, is there something else I'm supposed to do with the bathtub? Better not flood the bathroom without a reason. We still don't have that reason. Look at the floor again. The floor is sparkling clean again. Sally's done a good job, but she didn't really have a choice considering Bates' standards. Was that a absolutely necessary? Uh, thing that we needed to look at think I'm gonna have to probably look at a walkthrough at this rate uh, it's just nothing nothing going on and the hand system is useless completely and totally useless uh, I still very much think we're gonna use the hammer uh, to break the sign. <laughs> uh, that's an odd reaction. Insanity is hereditary. Like... I could get the idea of immediately reacting and punching, but you had like three or four seconds in which you saw that ghost <laughs> point in this direction, and now there's a tile I can click on. So you had to look in the mirror. I seriously doubt many people would have just naturally done that. Like, after three seconds of seeing a ghost, personally I'd be like, alright, I'm seeing a ghost now. I've either lost it or ghosts are real. Uh, but I, from what I understand of ghosts, they're still going to be uh, non-corporeal, so punching them is not going to do anything. What's wrong with me? What are these visions? Samuel had a book in his hand, and he was pointing to this tile. Apparently his hand is perfectly fine, which it definitely wouldn't be. So this is gonna be crazy. Apparition pointed to these tiles. It won't move at all. Hammer to the tile. So no problem with smashing Whoa. that wall. There's a cavity behind it. Maybe that's where the toilet used to be. And let's read this. A handwritten page from a book. It looks like it's from William Gordon's diary, with additions from his grandson, Samuel. Hmm. As far as I know, they both fell from the castle towers. Now, did Samuel rip out the page and hide it first? But then, why? Huh. There are lots of little pyramids or triangles scribbled on the page in a circle. Three of them have been crossed out. Okay, so that looks like some combination on the barrier. 
that we no, have to press. I've seen these triangles somewhere before. All right, one more effort to see if we can get something out of the cupboard. A pile of towels. Small ones, big ones, nothing but towels. Well, so is gonna be upset, and Bates is gonna be upset with me punching the mirror, for sure. Now we can get here. Only after we experience the game as they wanted us to do it. These don't even really look like triangles, by the way. These look much frowned. Uh, it's a diary, it's a barrier, or look at the barrier. They seem to be the same pyramids that are in Samuel's diary. There, there really needed to be a way to, uh, to push them in. I don't know how you do it. You have Samuel just automatically look in the mirror when walking in the bathroom. That would be a little bit fine. Uh, because it's believable that somebody would walk in the bathroom looking around for solutions. So I think this one was good. And I think this one was good. And I think this one was good. And uh, maybe this one was good? One assumes there will be like a click or something. Hmm. Most of the ripped out pages don't tell me much. This drawing with the pyramids, it looks strangely familiar to me. Okay. So, you know, I'm doing this completely wrong or completely right. Once I bring these two back up. Let's go see if maybe this stone tablet will open now. Otherwise I'm gonna have to there's a secret compartment hidden behind the stone slab. But how can I get to it? It seems like I'm gonna have to invert the solution. If this was a continued pattern all the way around, that'd give a little bit of trouble to calculate, and I don't know how to change things yes, back here. Finished, but nothing's happening. Let's go try this now. I knew it—a secret compartment, and inside there is. We've got the next mosaic. Second piece of mosaic. Hey. What are you doing there, sir? I... Uh, oh, I was just looking at this space here. Unusual, isn't it? Indeed it is. There was always a stone slab there before. Perhaps someone removed it. I will ask Sally about that. And then he goes towards the library which the door is already open that was close lady victoria i just returned from the village and i thought you might like to know very good bates take a break for half an hour no debate now so is he going to his room Seems like we're watching him very slowly walk towards his room. And now we have a new diary thing that's gonna tell us what we're supposed to do because I kinda don't have a clue. Uh, let's 
let's see. Find the third piece. This isn't the there isn't a famous clue of where the third piece mosaic is to be found, but there's still the locked door. I wonder what's really behind it. If there's get in the basis room. If there's anyone at all who knows all the castle secrets, it's Bates searching his room. Should uncover new finds. At the moment, it doesn't look like he's gonna leave the room anytime soon, though, at least not alive. Oh man, do I, do I have to really kill him? There, there really hasn't been enough murders in this game compared to the first one. And Black Mirror 1 was kind of crazy about how the murders came and went. Uh, we sure we have four and uh, and the other guy and maybe Angelina that maybe knocks it up to three murders but we should be I think closer to four or five and they should be more bloody and more gruesome I probably can just flood the room now that should create a distraction And I guess now I can just talk to Bates. Mr. Bates? Yes? I guess M Bates is an odd name if it's his last name because that's like Norm Bates, the psycho character. Let's ask all the questions before we talk about the water damage. I've noticed a huge locked door on the ground floor. I'd keep away from that, sir. Why? There was fire in the rooms through there some years ago. The damage was never properly repaired. The walls have been ruined by rainwater, and the beams have been rotting for 20 years or more. I think you'd risk your life going into that wing of the house. Lady Victoria. Yes, sir? She seems to me to be rather hmm. bitter. She is a dignified old lady. Be kind of nice if we didn't have such a loud thunderstorm outside. For. The death of a husband and her two sons, the murders, the castle decline, the end of the family line. You said it, sir. What can you tell me about Lady Eleanor? If you want to know something, why don't you ask her yourself? I Odd like that he would give one response per. Why do you think she brought Lewis here with after her husband's death? And a different death? type of response by the other. What do you mean by that, sir? Really now, I ask you, sir. Lady Eleanor is a lady, and she treats her servants accordingly. Lewis would have been unable to get a new position. He's simply too old. We can offer him a formal retirement here. But neither Lewis nor Lady Eleanor give the impression of being happy with the arrangement. You could maybe even believe that she owes him something. I would be aware of that, and I can tell you that your surmising is incorrect. It does certainly give the impression that they are underpaying their staff. You know, they, that they don't have a retirement or a pension or some kind of form of savings uh, set aside or heavily encouraged the the fact that Bates is still working here when he clearly should be retired himself and the fact that the gardener is still around when he should have been retired too seems seems weird I wonder if people who work for the British Queen work it into this such a late age I imagine not. I imagine all of this is, is not a unrealistic scenario that is just being written by somebody who doesn't really care to fix it, uh, fix their story, or have the characters be too young. Are you not feeling too well, Mr. Bates? I'm fine. I'm fine. 
Perhaps you should have a, a lie down. I'll have a lie down when I have time to do so. The work won't get done on its own. <laughs> Sally could do it. <laughs> I doubt that very much. Like every time we have a conversation, the thunder keeps on going. Um, they could have very sneakily lowered the volume on the on the on the thunderstorm. Just better mastered and balanced the sound effects. You don't think too much of Sally, then? I don't think too much of her work. So why do you employ her? It wasn't my idea. Her ladyship insisted that we should employ relief. Not a great choice, apparently. It won't last long. She'll soon have enough and then disappear. That must have been quite some fire to destroy the wing like that. It was a dreadful tragedy. Such as we've already suffered too many times here. It must now be 24 years ago. Master Samuel and his enchanting wife Catherine were just married and had only recently moved into the castle. Mm. We were hoping that he would one day take over the castle from his father and give us a son and heir. But then, they had not even been here for six months. There was a fire. Did anyone know how the fire started? Uh, no. Master Samuel lost his wife in the fire and then vanished for the next 12 years. He'd been deeply wounded by the events. Hmm. So what were the other people who were killed during that 24, that event 24 years ago? I wonder. Hmm. And there, there is kind of a question. I guess he, it's more evidence that you have to believe in Mordred and the ghost uh, for the story to make any sense. Because if Samuel was just crazy, look at how awfully he was animated. Uh, his mother? I don't, I don't think he made the connection that his mother was uh, Catherine. Uh, Samuel couldn't have dated and married Catherine and then gone crazy he would have had to have gone crazy or been possessed as soon as he moved back to the castle or around that time maybe six months later what kind of a man was he this Samuel Gordon his father sent him off to boarding school early since he was a very obstinate and wild child. His behavior improved at the school. The teachers described him as an alert, intelligent, and friendly boy. And in the holidays, we found him so too. So they barely even to knew him. Miss Catherine after being at school. A wonderful, good-hearted woman. They were married and seemed to have found a perfect happiness. What do you mean, seemed? Well, there were some arguments when they lived here. Was he violent? To her? I... <laughs> I don't really know. But I fear he may have been. Miss Catherine was unhappy, and if there hadn't been some wonderful times every now and again, then she perhaps would have left him. It could have been noticeable to us at that time. The two faces of Samuel Gordon. On the one hand, the loving, caring husband, and on the other, the arrogant and brutish the only. After his wife's death, this nasty side of him seemed to disappear. 
He never visited us. However, common acquaintances described him as a profoundly sad and broken man. That is, until he returned and slaughtered some innocent people. It's terrible. We all wonder ourselves. Perhaps we didn't want to believe that this evil side of his soul had returned. Hmm. So that gives you some backstory that Samuel Gordon seemed to be possessed by Mordred or have a split personality as far back as his own childhood and whenever he was in this castle or in this area it could possess him but when he was far enough away it seemed like it couldn't or he just had a split personality that flared up at different times. Were there any other victims of the fire? Uh, anyone injured, perhaps? Our cook at the time was the first to discover the fire and tried to pull young Mrs. Gordon from the flames. She became trapped by the flames and would have burnt to death had she not saved herself by leaping out of a window. But she injured her back very badly and had to leave us after that. Why are you interested in things which happened here so many years ago? So they're sticking to the well, story that... The, the young lady at the lighthouse was also burned. The, I find the connection rather stretched. Sticking to the story that Catherine and the cook are different people. Where it still to me seems like it would have been easier writing and better writing to say Catherine actually was the cook and this was their way of getting her away from Samuel Gordon and without anybody knowing or bringing any shame upon the family. Let's talk about the water damage. Mr. Bates, the bathroom's underwater. Sorry? I was just going past the bathroom and the water was already washing into the hall. Can you please get Sally, sir? Hmm. There we go, so we've distracted him. Uh, how much did we actually accomplish in this recording? Mm, sure doesn't feel like we accomplished much, even though we actually did get the second mosaic tile. Uh, a lot of talking, a lot of backstory, a lot of story that's been said before. Uh, I really haven't been keeping a sharp eye or ear out for how many times we've heard the same story over and over again, but it is basically every two hours or so we're getting the same very, very basic, very, very generic story of what happened 24 years ago, what happened 12 years ago. Uh, it doesn't feel as though we're getting anything new from that. It's just rep repetitious and wasting time. And that's really this game in a nutshell, is wasting your time when a editor could have easily taken out most of the interactions, most of the story, and made a much more modern game, even modern for the time when this game came out. Uh, there's this game that came out recently that I want to play called The Council. In a lot of ways, it seems like it, it could be a much better example of this game in a very similar setting in a very somewhat similar storyline um, so if you like some of the aspects here maybe check out the council instead anyways we went about five minutes long which is fine because we went about five minutes short last recording that's going to be it for this recording as always i ask you to like share subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below in the description box. And if you want to support me even further, I'm asking people to friend me on Steam and gift me a game off my wishlist. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.